Next is from Lime Stewart. Subject, Chris Jericho with the new Ric Flair. Conan, you mentioned on a recent episode about how Ric Flair is maybe not the easiest guy to deal with, and I've heard Sean Waltman say many times in shoots that guys like Ric Flair just wouldn't retire and make room for younger talent, despite their drawing ability falling and in-ring skills becoming embarrassing. That is how I describe Chris Jericho. Yes, wrestling is a business that four eyes, four eyes monkey Mark is willing to pay him a ton of cash, which we would all say yes to. Simple fact is, Jericho cannot maintain a TV audience. Would you agree, Conan, that Chris Jericho has become the exact thing that he or the other guys used to complain about? I mean, the entire Orange Cassidy feud was done to get him over, and AEW already are doing nothing with him. Same question goes to Joe and Disco. Um, no, I just think Jericho's uh, wrestling the, the, the these guys' style of match now, and I, I don't think that that's what he should be doing. I think he should be working, teaching guys to work his style, and I don't know. I mean, he's not, you know, I, I, he's definitely not like, I mean, people aren't complaining about Jericho. He, I mean, they gave him the, the rest of the year last year, you know? Yeah, I would disagree that he can't maintain a TV audience. He's usually in one the highest rated segment, and yeah. uh, he's the face of the company. And when he's on, he's the best guy on the mic, you know. So you know his job right now is multifaceted. You know he's a commentator. He's probably giving ideas backstage. He's probably agenting. He's got the inner circle. He's trying to get guys over. He's trying to give guys the rub. You know the guys. In, he, he's the MVP of that promotion, one hundred percent. That has nothing to do with our friendship. And he also uh, takes the time out to rib me every now and then.